<clears throat> all right. This one, uh, you got to hang with me for a second because it might not make sense, but it's very, very convenient. So think about your account record. Your account has a bunch of related stuff. It's got related lists, all the contacts related to the account, all the opportunities related to the account, all the cases, all whatever. Well, what if you're on an opportunity and you want to see all the products on the account or all the contacts on the account, or all the cases on the account? Traditionally, you got to go from the opportunity, click to the account, find the list, and then look at it. What if you could just, while you're on the opportunity page, have Salesforce go up to the account, find the list you want, just put that list right on the page for you. So that's what you can do. So if you go to your opportunity page or contact page or whatever, there's a component called the related list single. And when you drag that on the page, it goes, look, I'm on a contact record. Do you want the list from this contact record? And you could just use a one of the related lists from the contact record. Or you could say, no, 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 no. I want you to use the relationship, the account relationship. So I'm going to use the account name to go up to the account. And then here are all the lists from the account. Pick the list you want from the account and then put that on the page. Um, so I'm on a contact record. I'm looking at the contact, but I can see every other contact on the account. There are just so many use cases for this. Show me all the deals, the projects, the invoices, the support issues without having to navigate up and then back down. So if you have to go up and then back down a lot, this is going to save you a ton of clicks, give you more context in one place. Again, it's just too good um, not to do. So I'm going to show you this one real quickly. So let's say I go to a contact record. I'm looking at Lisa Jones, okay? Here's Lisa Jones. Now I'm gonna edit this page and I'm going to add a related list, related list single, you gotta pick the single one and I'm gonna drag and drop it, let's just say put it up here. All right, so now it's saying, um, what list do you wanna show? I could just show the list of cases for Lisa. This is Lisa's cases, I could just do that. Or I could say, you know, Go up to the account that Lisa reports to and get me the list of cases from there. Get me the list of products they've purchased. Get me the list of contacts, shopping carts, whatever. In this case, I'll say support cases. Hit save. So now, and I could have put this list anywhere. I could have put this list, let's say, in the service tab uh, for Lisa. So now when I look at Lisa's record, I can see Lisa's info. I can see Lisa's support tickets and everyone else's support tickets at her company. Um, and you can even customize this list view so that you get a basic list, an enhanced list, a tile view, so you can even change the way it looks. All right, and there you go, hit save. And I'll, I'll just, I'll move this out here just to make it more visible. There you go, hit save. And that's it. I've now, on a contact record, I can see all of Lisa's uh, cases and I can see everyone else's cases uh, right there as well. Okay, so all the cases for the account and all of her cases, and in this case, they're the same, but you get the idea. You could do this for any other, show me all the projects, show me the invoices, show me the orders, anything. I could keep rattling off stuff, but that's the idea.